Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to another board of Fortune Street. Today we're going to be doing Castle Trodain on standard rules. I uh, picked Slime, Kirill, and Angelo for my uh, computer players, and I'm wearing the nobleman's attire with a uh, tiny sanguini as uh, my little mascot flying around my head. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Am I going to go first? Not even close. That's alright. That's fine with me. Now, I did actually find something out. For standard rules boards, you can actually not lower the target m amount below 10,000. And uh, 10,000 is the default amount for this board. So unfortunately, yeah, I could not decrease it further than that. And I believe for easy rules, you can't decrease it under 6,000, so... Um, I'll figure out ways to decrease the target amount for other boards, but for this one, I couldn't exactly make it smaller, so... We're just gonna have to go with 10,000. So, as you can see, Castle Trodane is actually a lot bigger in standard rules than it was in easy rules. In easy rules, there were like four properties on the bottom, three on the sides, and then like, I don't know, like, three on both sides of the top. In this board, there's actually a lot more properties, and it's just handled in a much different way. Also, wow, you're lucky. You got gold on the very first turn. Lucky you. I mean, in a way, I guess you could say it still kind of resembles the, uh, board from easy rules but it is a lot bigger though so a lot more things can definitely happen which hey that's fine with me that's fine with me it's a pretty standard standard rules board though you know go around the board get all the suits uh, invest in properties if you so choose and that's basically it now, I actually lost Castle Trodane um, during the Easy Rules playthrough, so um, I don't know if I'm going to win this. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, well, let's go ahead and play the arcade then. Kind of wish I would have had another. Or a higher roll, basically, but eh, whatever. Oh, that's it? I would have much preferred the stocks. At least I could have got something out of that, possibly. So once again, for standard rules, you're going to want to pay attention to uh, what properties are the best properties that will be developed faster and then invest lots of stock in those areas and then take advantage of them. Whether they be your own properties, or whether they be the computer opponents, it really doesn't matter. You can uh, pick your poison. That's one of the things I really like about standard rules, that you can kind of do things in that fashion. It also kind of gives it more of a mind games aspect, where it's like, hey, do I piggyback off of other districts, or do I just try to develop my own? I think it's better to try to develop your own, because that way you can actually see the growth happening in your own territory. Well, for others, you have to, like, essentially try to avoid all the bad areas, but that's just part of the game. It's part of the game. Uh, do I want to... No, I don't want to go that way. Let's go this way, then. I don't think I'll probably be investing in this district, but we'll see what happens. I might get lucky and get a property. Who knows? Hard to tell at this point. I believe when I first played this game, uh, the first time I played this board, I actually won it. Like, I didn't have to retry it. I won it on my first try. Which was very nice, so I was glad I was able to do that. Whether I'll do that again, though, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I also like the music for this board, too. Like I said before, the music in this game is really great. They have some really awesome remixes, and they brought a lot of awesome tracks back from 
you know, Dragon Quest and the Mario series. Uh, there are some tunes that I think get a little repetitive the more you play. Uh, specifically the Mario Stadium board, I feel like that one gets really repetitive. I don't know, the Mario baseball music is not exactly a good, uh, tune to be hearing, like, non-stop. It's a good tune, but not one for a board game. It does fit the stage, though, and it does kind of fit the, kind of, I need to hurry back, I need to invest in these shops. It does have a nice beat to it, but... I don't know, hearing that non-stop for a long period of time is just kind of eh. Just in my own honest opinion. Also, wow, both Kirill and Angelo have districts they're working on. This could be a problem. Slime, could you be a good guy and give me something? No, not him. He smells funny. He smells like green. I know, that's kind of a weird... color choice. Or smell choice, rather, but... It's true, he does smell like green. Oh, gosh. Angelo, you need to slow down. You're picking up way too many properties. Oh, the fact Corel has a nice area, I, I might want to invest in either of those districts. Right now, it's hard to say. I will take that. That's actually really good. That way I can... Oh no, I thought I landed on the property there. Well, either way, that's fine. Invest capital in any of your shops. Well, I only have one shop, and I really don't want to invest in it yet, because I don't have any stock there, so it'd be kind of pointless. God, this is going to be a rough game, because I'm not getting anything. I'll have a lot of money, that's for sure, but I need a little more than that. Half price. Yes, it is a plopperty. One thing I should try to do is I should try to make the text stay around for longer because I have gotten a lot of uh, comments about trying to keep that around longer so you guys can read the conversations. I guess for now, I'll just pause the video really quickly if you want to read. I'll try not to say too much during, so it's not like any of my thoughts get cut off, but... I don't know, I feel like the text is just kind of redundant. A lot of characters just say the same things over and over again, and... I don't know, it just doesn't really seem that important to me. Well, I think I might definitely try to invest in Angelo's district, because... He is a a rank computer player, which means he is going to invest like mad in those properties whenever he does. So I'll get huge increments of money whenever he does. So, that might be a good idea. Hell, there's a possibility I could get that other property, too. For now, though, I'll see what happens. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you won't have to pay anything next turn. I like that. Okay, give me a one, two, five, or six. That works. That works. That works quite a bit, actually. That was a very expensive property. That's probably the most expensive property on the board. Well, hey, I'm glad that I have it. I'm glad I haven't, I'm glad I didn't have to pay too much for it, either. In fact, let's see what kind of property that is, like, in terms of, like... ...what kind of shop it is. That's something I should do more often, because I haven't really been paying attention to that kind of stuff. 
in reality, you can have like a very expensive donut shop or a bridal boutique or just so many great things. Also, it's kind of weird how slime invested there, of all places. God, Angelo, you're trying to get in all my districts here. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Well, that'll take me home, and it'll give me a choice of direction next turn, which I always like. I'm not going to get very much money, but I can at least start investing. Okay, well, let's see. Either this district, this district, or this district. This district is the most expensive, which I'm not surprised. This one's the least expensive, but I don't know if that's going to be good to invest there or not. Let's go for the most expensive one. I know it's a risk, but I gotta start taking risks. It's basically how I win, usually. Taking risks is sometimes a good move. Just putting that out there. I don't know, should I go for this, or... I'll go ahead and buy 40. Maybe I can get something out of it. And yep, that'll raise that. Alright. Let's see how this continues. I'll take that. Maybe I can go for that uh, property that Slime has in that upper district. Because he does have the opportunity to pay us some more money for it. Given that he is a uh, d rank computer player. But right now I don't have a lot of cash, so I should probably wait on that. Oh goody, Slurper Drone. This early? Wow. We've had a lot of arcade landers. Let's go for white. I think white was what I picked last time and it didn't win, but maybe it'll win now. Please? Okay, so far so good. Continues to be good. Thank you, thank you, come on, give me the feather. No! Dang it! Well, I got something out of it, I guess. Also, that wasn't a feather, that was a pepper. Why did I call it a feather? Oh, I got the least amount. Damn. Well, that sucks. Just a little bit. Oh, another arcade. Wow, we're playing a lot of arcade today. Around the blocks always makes me nervous, though, because... Because of that, basically. Well, thank thankfully nothing came from that, but... I don't know, I feel like round the blocks is easier to win than you'd think it would be. It's random, but I feel like there's good chances. Uh... I would have barely any money if I went for the left property, so let's go this way. Maybe I can kind of have kind of a little monopoly on the right side. It seems like that might be the case. Well, not anymore. And yeah, I figured he'd try to skip over all that. That's a good move, slime. Oh, lucky you. Lucky, lucky you. Anyway, I'm curious what Angelo will do right. What? Why'd he go that way? Is he gonna buy me out? Why did he go that way? He could have. I don't understand why this is doing things the way they are. 
Oh, that made a load of sense. Uh, I'm not going to invest anything yet, but I will stop there. Oh god, Kirill is uh, making a big move. He's going to sell the stocks he just gained from that. But he has his own district that he can uh, do a lot of good in. God, he has two districts he can work in now. Ah. Rill is going to be a very dangerous opponent. like that. It's a C-ranked player of all things, although I guess Diddy Kong was doing really well on the Mario Stadium board. He was freaking D-ranked, so... guess it goes to show you that you can't let the ranks really say too much. Okay. Yeah, let's keep going. Well, not much I could do. I don't know why I was thinking about it so hard. No, not yet. I don't have a lot of money to do that. I'm freaking waiting for Angelo to invest a little more. Oh, right now the person I'm least scared of is Angelo. I think Angelo kind of has the uh, tragic A-rank title where it's like, of all the A-rank characters, he performs the worst. And like, you don't think he would, but he really does. It's kind of funny. It really does make him a tragic A-rank. Okay, five. I think that'll land me on the diamond. Yes, it will. I approve of that. Three, I'll take it, because I can go to any square I want. Non-venture, non-suit, so I can't go that way. I could try to buy this, but I don't know. I really don't want to hit that 102. I should go this way. Let's go for the arcade. This way I can play, uh... Memory Block again. I was trying to think of what the game was. Okay... Please get me something good. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take that, definitely. All right. That'll raise the stock there, which will give me some more money to work with. All right, nice. Take a heart. Well, that's going to be useless because he's going to get the heart regardless. If he continues to go in that direction. Are you actually investing? That's stupid. You have no stock in there, do you? Or does he have 10? No, no one had anything there. He just made the stock higher there for... No reason, although I guess that does make things harder for Kirill to invest. Okay. 
Wait, isn't that my, our district? A, B, C. Yep, that's ours. Thank you! He actually gave me a boost of money. See, that's the good thing about investing in areas where other people have... Um, well, I guess he doesn't have a majority, because I'm there too, but... You know, that he has something there, and he's going to help me expand along with him, so... Really? Well, thankfully, 10% is not very much, but... I guess it's good to get those bad cards out of the way. He already had a heart. Which, that's not gonna mean much to me, because I kinda wanna go in any direction. I don't need to go in any direction, rather. God, Slime, you have a lot of money. Plus, I got all my money back from paying... Um, Angelo. Who still has barely any money, and that's gonna be bad for him. my shops. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Nobody's going in that direction anyway. God, me on that right side. <laughs> That's fun. Oh! Damn it! That would have been really good, too. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ooh, he's, uh... Trying to make a deal with... Angelo. Hell, he wouldn't have made that, because he was losing something from that. Slime, you need to learn how to negotiate a little better. District C. You know, I think I'm gonna maybe do something in District C. Oh, that's where he bought stuff. Oh, shoot. I need to watch out for slime, seriously. Okay, yeah, I'll take that for sure. Maybe I can use that in trade bait. Probably not, though. Trade that one property to sl oh, that's too big though. I don't know why you'd trade that to me. Now he's increasing that one. I didn't even raise the stock. Slime, I don't know what you're doing, but it doesn't work that way. Also, lol, Angelo. Also, I don't think I put the uh, game options on bankrupting all three, so if one person does happen to get bankrupt, the game will end. I forgot about that. Um, let's go for this. 30, 65. Forced buyout. Ah, oh, there's no way I can do that. I barely have any gold. I mean, there's stuff I can buy out, but I don't want to sell out or give all my money for it. Sorry, game, I just can't do that right now. Just can't 
do it. I want to, but I can't. By the way, me, can I make it home yet? <laughs> I really want to go home. Hmm. Oh wow, that's our district too, damn. to have leverage. I need to have leverage and I have a better chance of not landing anything going this way than I did just in that short path. Ha ha ha, take that. 41. Oh wait. Okay, good. Kind of screwed over slime a little bit. Yeah, that's the thing. 41 is actually a really bad number in this game. Especially on standard rules. If you get that much later in the game and your district gets targeted, that's awful. You'll lose a whole bunch of stuff. That could be a game breaker right there, in all honesty. Okay, come on, Angelo. Land on something of mine so you can have to do something good for me. One, two, three, four. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. 61. I think that's good. Ooh, nice. Not a whole bunch, but it's something. Ah, lucky you. Yeah, it looks like Kirill is gonna be threat. Not a very good one. District E, okay, that's the one down there. I need to get some stuff in there. I know I only have one property, but it'll help me. wants to make a trade. Uh, offered property... Oh, but I want to use that one for leverage. No. Sorry. Sorry, Slime. You have to put a little more on the table than that. Maybe if you gave me the one in uh, the middle district, I probably would have accepted, but nah. Right now, I need to find a way to stop Kirill. something bad. Like that. Skipping my properly property entirely. Oh, God. Please let it be D. Please let it be D. Oh, come on! Lucky green hat dude. I don't like lucky green hat dude. He is going to be a lot more difficult to beat. No, not that district! 
Although that wouldn't help me. No, not that district. Well, I don't know. Two district sections are better than one. You know what? Sure, I'll go for it. There, now Slime can compete with uh, Kirill in that area. I'll take that. And I have a chance to get a third property in that one area, so... Yeah, sure, why not? I'll take that. Oh dang it, I thought you could've... Of course, the wrong person got a one. Okay, we got stocks. Can you give it to me? Or all of us, that works too. No matter what, I can make it home without losing everything. I suppose that's what's important. Yes! Lose your money! Give it to a giant slime ball. <laughs> Literally. I like that idea. One! Damn it. Uh, Slime, that's not a good idea. Because he's actually helping Kirill with that. Maybe that wasn't a good idea to give that to Slime. I don't know, I was trying to think about me there. I don't know, I, don't, I wouldn't say it backfired, but... I don't know, this is tricky. Let's please make it home. I guess. I'm actually curious. How many stock do I have here? 50? Angelo has 57. I don't like that. He's gonna invest more, so no, not yet. Yep, yeah, I figured. Figured you'd do that. Well then. I'm not going to take this sitting down. Slime, why would you do that? You want me to get that district too? I can. I can try for it. Oh god, that barely has any stock. Okay, no matter what, you're gonna put it in our district. I can tell. Okay, he has a hundred there now. 